I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what do squared and cubed mean. Now, there are two very important algebra concepts that we'll talk about along the way, but we're going to talk about them one at a time. So first, we're going to discuss what squared means. Now, when you square something, that means you're raising it to the second power. For example, if you have 3 squared, that means you're multiplying by itself twice. So 3 squared means 3 times 3, which you know is 9. Now, you can do this with any number. For example, if you had negative 4 squared, that means you're raising negative 4 to the second power. That means you're multiplying negative 4 by itself twice. Now, negative times a negative is going to be a positive, so you've got to keep that in mind. So 4 times 4 is 16, so negative 4 squared is 16. So with squaring, you're multiplying by itself two times. Now, when it comes to cubed, that simply means you're multiplying by itself three times in terms of whatever number that you're given. So for example, if you have 5 cubed, that means you're multiplying 5 by itself three times. In other words, it'll be 5 times 5 times 5. Now, 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is going to give you 125. So 5 to the third is 125. Now, you can do the same thing with negative numbers as well. Suppose you have negative 1 cubed. That means you're taking negative 1, multiplying it by itself three times. So you have negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Now, negative 1 times negative 1 is going to give you a positive 1. But positive 1 times a negative 1, as you know, positive times a negative is going to be negative. So that means at the end of the day, negative 1 to the third power is going to be negative 1. So basically, squared means raising it to the second power, multiplying by itself twice, and then cubed is multiplying it by itself three times. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an illustration as to what do squared and cubed mean.